Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing a video today on Luna 2.0, Luna Classic and Wrapped Luna. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. And right now Luna 2.0 is down 1.42%. There's not a whole lot of news around Luna 2.0 today. So we're going to go right into Luna Classic and Wrapped Luna. So Luna Classic is up 7.1%. Wrapped Luna is up 13.53%. And then we see this. 1 billion Luna Classic is now burned just getting started. That is a huge milestone for this community. I know they've been trying to get to that first 1 billion for days now. And it finally happened. And then we see this update Luna Classic community poll increased. Proposal 4080 already passed. Retweet and like spread it. Luna Classic will come back stronger. That is what community is all about. Then we see this we're not going away. Lunatics are strong and resilient. There will be some bumps on the road, but the big things could be coming. Let's see what Binance does with his stock in Luna Classic. Now, if Binance starts burning some of their Luna Classic, that would be great. I mean, even if they adopt the 1.2% uh, tax, that would be great. Hopefully, they decide to do something for this community. So, weekly search popularity. What do we see there? Luna Classic, number one. Then we see this. Okay, let the community speak. They matter here. UST failed. Stable Quan left and created 2.0. He saw no future with UST after the failure. UST got will not make sense for Luna Classic. Who will pay for the burn? Not UST. Not Luna Classic money. So UST profit for free. They would profit off of this if they if they got behind it. And 75% of people say no, they don't even want UST to be involved in the burn process. And I, I see the point here, and that's a smart move on behalf of this community. Then we see this, Luna Classic, Proposition 3568, signed the petition. Now, if you're watching this video and you have not signed the petition yet, I want you to go right out there and do it. I mean, do it for this community. And here's where you could find it, on change.org. You could find the petition and you could sign it right here. And I'm going to talk about this in all the videos I make from now on with Luna Classic until they reach their mark. They want to get to 100. So every day I will get out there and I will push this to my listeners. And if you haven't signed this petition, please, please do it for this community. They want you to help them out. And... If you're part of this community, you should already be voting. So, please do it. So, 4080 money devs, 3568, 1.2% tax burn, 4095 re-enable staking, delegation, existing active validators. So, you see what's going on here? This community is trying to get things moving. And all it takes is a couple of these exchanges to get behind this and help out. And maybe some developers get behind Luna Classic and help out this community. That would be great. And hopefully we see that very soon. And sooner than later. Let's just say that. So we're going to talk about Wrapped Luna. But before I do, I want to talk one more thing. I want to make one more point. If you haven't voted, get out there and vote for this community. Do your part. So, how is no one talking about Coinbase completely scamming their investors holding wrapped Luna? It really is unbelievable at this point that Brian Armstrong is not being investigated by the SEC along with Stable Quan for how they manipulated wrapped Luna. Then we see this. You know, Coinbase could really use some positive PR right, now, right about now. Here's an idea. Lift the suspension on wrapped Luna. Burn a ton of it and cause the price to moon. Twitter will be flooded with moon stories and new account signups will be off the charts. Again, 
the these exchanges they seem to not even come out and talk about this like they have no voice they don't want to come out and get behind anything they don't want to say hey we're going to honor the contract we're not going to honor the contract at least you know say if you're not going to do it say you're not going to do it and i know it's supposed to be relisted within the next three to four days so we're going to wait and see if that happens so if you're paying those high fees to cash out your wrapped luna i would stop and wait and give it a couple days and see what happens with the whole relisting if they're going to lift the suspension whatever they're going to do we're going to have to wait and see what happens there so prop 4080 passed and coinbase added experimental asset labeled to wrapped luna again this is like a ploy it's kind of like one of those things they put something out there and you read it but yet you have no explanation of it so it kind of still leaves you in the dark i'll tell you some other things that are also dumb on multiple levels brian armstrong relabeling rap luna to rap luna classic attempting to break the immutable smart contract manipulating the price of said token ignoring 60,000 plus investors requesting info i mean there you go and you know you how can you just ignore 60,000 plus people it makes no sense to me so shady rap luna contract bridge spells trouble for the terra luna community it doesn't just spell trouble for the terra luna community this contract spells trouble for the entire crypto community as a whole because if they break this contract they could break any contract i think less and less trust will be put in exchanges i think if you don't have some sort of cold storage you know ledger something i think now's a good time to start pulling out of these exchanges since they could just suspend at will they could just delist at will they could hold all your money when it comes time to sell it's it's ridiculous with that said i'm going to wrap up today's video i want to thank you all for watching and once again get out there and vote for the community we'll see you in the next video